Craig, you've had some memorable wins as Boston manager. Is that right at the very top today? Yeah, I think it is for this season. It were um, got a lot of respect for York City, big club, um, good team, doing really well with a, with a good manager and. Uh, we had to put a big performance in and we did and uh, I'm really happy that we deserved it as well. I thought we were dominant for most of the game to be honest. And you came back from a goal down which is never easy to do. No, uh, not against York. I think they've got best defence in the league so um, it was going to be difficult um, against the runner play because I thought we started the game really well and obviously we could have dealt with it a lot better um, but these things happen and the lads are just showing what character we've got at the minute and what we're about um, and I just think to come back from 1-0 down against York and, and get the goals and, and possibly could have got more. And you changed your shape, which I imagine you gave a lot of thought to, but it was fully vindicated in the end. Yeah, it, it was a tough decision. Um, I had a few sleepless nights this week, but after watching a few videos and uh, just going through, through a few things, I just felt it was the right thing. It wasn't easy putting people on the bench, especially um, John and Fulis and Jay Rollins, who are massive fans of them, they're, they're such massive players for us. But I just felt today we had to play a certain way to sort of nullify York. And the way you did come back, Frank got you back into it before half time, and then two of your old stages in midfield got you the win in the second half. Yeah, I thought Frank was, was superb. I think he got man at match and deserved that. I think he, he gave us a good focal point and were a threat over the top and uh, worked hard uh, along with Dom up there. And then, uh, like I said, the, the midfield lads, um, I've been asking them to contribute more goals, and they've done that today, and that's what they need to do in big games. And it gives you some real selection poses moving forward, presumably, because, like you say, you've got established players now sat on the bench. Yeah, and I think the point of me getting a good squad and having options is to be able to use that, and I think I've got to do that a bit more sometimes because there is a lot of different challenges in this league. I think, obviously, Tuesday will be a totally different game against Darlington, who are a good team. So we've got to utilise the squad. Nobody's more important than anybody else. We're in it together. We're all trying to work hard to win as many games as we can. Um, good crowd today, over 1,700 home fans. It looks <coughs> like the, the message is finally spreading. Yeah, I hope so. I mean, look, the fans have been crying out to, to do well in the league and FA Cup, and we've done all that this season. We're having a good season, and I was looking forward to today's game because I thought it'd be a good atmosphere, and it was. I thought the fans were, were superb, and they really bought into what we were trying to do, and uh, a really good day all round, and good game for non league, and they're just really happy to come out on top. Five straight wins as well. I think <coughs> that's the first time you've achieved that since you've been here. Yeah, it's obviously nice to win games of football, but um, I, I think the players have been superb over recent weeks. I think today as well, we sort of put a plan in place on on Thursday at training and they bought into it and done that. And uh, like I said, we're all mucking in. We're all trying as best to make us as good as we can be and uh, just really happy at the minute. Simon Heslock came on for a very late debut against his former club. What do you feel he brings? Yeah, he's obviously an experienced player, um, an aggressive player that we haven't got too many of them in midfield and uh, he's going to be needed in big games. I think games similar to today where you can bring him on or he can start against these bigger teams and, and add his experience and help others around him. And like I said, he's, he's just another part of that jigsaw to try and make us as, better, as good a team we can be. And now for Darlington, <coughs> we've had a good season. Um, Alan Armstrong's taken a lot of his Blythe traits there. They don't draw many, it's all or nothing. Um, and they're here on Tuesday night. Yeah, I like Darlington. I think they've got some great players. I like Alan Armstrong's teams. They, they really go for it. They've got some exciting players. They're having a good season themselves. So, um, again, different challenge to today. Um, but exciting. These are, these are games you want to be part of. And uh, we're at home again, so we look forward to that. And, uh, yeah, we just want to keep going.